In any sport, special athletes are often revealed by their unique ability to overcome any obstacle with grit and determination. For FSU's Shaquanya Dorsett, this special skill set is what truly defines her. Prior to becoming a Seminole, the Freeport Bahamas native was honored twice as her country's Junior Athlete of the Year due to her outstanding performance in both the 400 and 800. Oh, it's awesome like to wear our national uniform with the colors and like go out and represent my country. It's really an awesome feeling. Like I live for it. Upon arrival in Tallahassee, the 400 meter specialist began her freshman campaign as one of the highest ranked junior level sprinters in the world. So we knew that she would be an elite level athlete and so we knew that she was pretty good and she did not you know, disappoint at all. She came right in and ran really well. When you see her compete, there's a different side to her. She's like that scary monster in your bedroom when you're growing up as a kid you're afraid of. And that comes out of her when it's time to compete. And then you see why the expectations are so high. She can do anything, absolutely anything. She's a monster competitor. The speedster quickly backed this up in stride, winning her outdoor debut in the 400 before tallying a silver medal in the 2016 Corinthia Games with a personal best time of 52.50. However, Dorsett's first season at Florida State was cut short as a result of an unfortunate injury. I was leaving class one day, looking at my phone, and I fell down the stairs. I missed a step and fell down the stairs. But I didn't think anything of it at that time. And a couple weeks later, my leg continued to hurt. And my athletic trainers didn't really know what to do because we didn't know what was really wrong. And I took an MRI and said it was like an almost stress fracture. She wanted to run, she's a great teammate, wanted to, uh, to perform for her, for her Seminoles. But long term, you know, she is the future of Bahamas track and field. We wanted to be protective of that. So we decided to shut her down, let her heal up. After returning to action in late June, the Swift Sprinter anchored the Bahamas 4x4 relay team to an Olympic qualifying time. Nevertheless, misfortune struck nine days later in Poland at the U-20 Championships, where Dorset re-aggravated her previous leg injury and was not only forced to withdraw from this competition, but also gave up her coveted spot at the 2016 Rio Olympics. Yeah, I just didn't want to like break my leg completely and not be able to run for like two years or something like that, but it was awful. It was I wanted to make Olympics from the last Olympics, and I actually made the team, but I couldn't go. Despite this disappointing debacle, Dorset displayed her unique ability to overcome the setback by doing what she does best, moving forward. So all that she's experienced, although they were setbacks, they were really set ups for a greater comeback, and I know she'll just use it as only motivation, nothing negative, only positive. Following an off-season full of restoration and rehabilitation, the 19-year-old has fought her way back to the track this spring. I'm more focused, more dedicated. I feel like I need to make up for what happened last year, so I'm trying harder, training harder, pushing harder. In the long run, Shaquanya wishes to inspire others with their distinct perseverance and determination while continuing to embody what it truly means to be a Florida State student athlete. I'm Blake Devine for Seminole Sports Magazine.